Thank you, Rachel. Hello. In 1936, a very faint television signal transmitted the opening ceremonies of the Olympic Games as a show of German superior technology. That signal left Earth at the speed of light and 26 years later arrived in the vicinity of the star we call Vega. That signal has been sent back to us hugely amplified, an unmistakable sign of intelligence. Now, You're online, kid. Go ahead. The Adolf transmission used 25 frames per second, but we're receiving 50 frames per uh -huh. second, so we can the other 25 through a series of search algorithms to see if there was anything else. We found a series of markers on, on the top of each frame. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, send it, Willie. Okay, here it comes. It's digital. Massive amounts of data, which extend right to the higher harmonics. Jackpot. All right, as you'll see, interlaced with the frames of the original Hitler image, we found these sections. Now, we, we, we thought they were just noise, but they're actually data, huge amounts of it. Now, when we combine this with the data from the amplification of the original signal, we get these encrypted pages of text. Now, no two are alike, and we've uncovered over 10,000 already. What does it mean, Doctor? Well, we have no idea. It could be anything. It could be uh, the first volume of an Encyclopedia Galactica. Instructions to acquaint us with their colonization procedures. Moses with a few billion new commandments. How long will it take to decode it? Oh, it could take forever. Well, we really need a primer up. As we, we need to get the best decryption people we have. I intend to use the VLA as my command post. In the meantime, my office is made out of preliminary budget. Well, wait a minute. Uh, this is a privately funded operation. Uh, uh, we're only leasing Dr. this time from the government. If there's a more clear-cut case of eminent domain, I've never seen it. I'm going to recommend to the president that we militarize this project immediately. What? This is my project. I, uh, nobody knows more about these scenarios than I do. David, Nellie, tell them how many years that I've been working. Excuse me, could we calm down here? Now, I'm going to recommend that Dr. Drumlin administer and coordinate the decryption effort. However, in light of Dr. Arroway's long experience in these matters, for the time being, she will continue to direct operations at the VLA with the express understanding that any future discoveries will be kept in the strictness of confidence until such time as the president can decide the most suitable course of action. Understood? This is CNN breaking news. The president made a brief statement calling the message from Vega one of the most stunning insights into our... Attendance at religious services has risen a dramatic 39% in recent days. As police from three German armed divisions clashed with neo-Nazi protesters. So it turns out there's life on other planets. Boy, this is really going to change the Miss Universe contest, don't you think? I mean, gee, we're going to have to... Health officials from around the world are concerned that the message from Vega might trigger a rash of mass suicides not unlike the recent cult deaths near San Diego. Even a scientist has to admit that there are some pretty serious religious overtones to all this. Let's hear from someone whose organization has been accused of conducting its own inquisition in recent days. Richard Rank, head of the conservative coalition. Thank you. This is yet another example of science intruding into matters of faith. Now they will have a set of places to cable from politics. They have been well, reacting. The Crack TV signals they got from us in the 1930s, they're just getting them. Imagine how disappointed they're going to turn out to be if, if they're Cubs fans. I mean, we now take you to Jeremy Watt, who is reporting on events at the very large array near Socorro, New Mexico. Like a bolt from the blue it came. What is being called the message from Vega? has caused thousands of believers and non-believers to descend upon the VLA facility here in the remote desert of New Mexico. Many have come to protest, many to pray, but most have come to participate in what has become the best show in town. Well, I saw the thing coming out of the sky. It had one long horn and a one big eye. I can miss the chicken and the city Looks like a purple people leader to me. It was a one eyed, one horned one blind purple people leader. One eyed, one horned one blind purple people leader. 
is gushing, who polluted our air, who poisoned our water. Now these scientists have had their chance. Are these the kind of people that you want talking to your God for you? Efforts continue around the clock. But for now, almost two full weeks after the message's arrival, scientists here at the VLA still have no answers, only more questions. Jeremy Roth, CNN, Socorro, New Mexico.